An upstate beekeeper questions whether herbicides sprayed near his property killed some of his bees. The company behind the spraying says the chemical used could not have killed the bees. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith is joining us now. She has more details. Nikkel. Well, Tom and Amy, the company in this instance says it's an extensive process to make sure the chemicals sprayed along roads are as safe as possible, but there is a way to avoid having them near your property. They have a brand new queen in there right now. Beekeeping is more than business for Hugh Williams, who everyone calls Buddy. It's a hobby and a sport, and I enjoy it too. What he didn't enjoy was when a Department of Transportation contractor drove by his property in Landrum last week. Fog spray everywhere. Spraying herbicide. And the trucks come up the road in the a.m. and came back in the afternoon. He says he thinks the spraying. If you look here, you see dead bees. Killed oh, some of his bees. About two or three thousand. Because they were fined beforehand. Inspected by the state of Georgia and the state of South Carolina. NatureChem is the Lexington based company contracted with DOT. The technical term is called chemical limbing. Kellis says crews were spraying the chemical triclopyr using a product called Garlon 4 Ultra. Because it's the safest, least toxic formulation of triclopyr. He says EPA studies make him sure the bees were not killed by their diluted version of the herbicide. The highest possible rate of triclopyr that could be put on a bee, meaning cover the entire bee. It had a worst case scenario and it had no effects on the bee whatsoever. The Department of Pesticide Regulation also investigated the incident and didn't find any violations. Williams says for the sake of his bees and his own health, he shouldn't be subjected to chemicals on his property. The state owns from center line of that road 30 feet this way. And from here back this way, from hell to heaven is mine. Nature Chem suggests putting up signs and telling workers to not spray chemicals near your property. William says he's now in the process of doing just that.